हेलो एवरीबॉडी आई होप यू ऑल आर फाइन एंड सेफ एट योर होम आई मिसेस पंकज टुडे विल बी गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू द चैप्टर एट हाउ डू ऑर्गेनिजम्स रिप्रोड्यूस एंड आर सब टॉपिक इज सेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शन इन एनिमल्स सो बिफोर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट दिस टॉपिक लेट्स हैव सम बेसिक नॉलेज अबाउट दिस टॉपिक और फ्यू बेसिक टर्म्स विच आर यूज इन दिस सो द वेरी फर्स्ट टर्म वी विल यूजिंग will be using here is itself depicting you know in the topic reproduce reproduce that means the process of reproduction what do you mean by reproduction the process by which new individuals or new individuals new generation is being produced or new individuals are brought to this world for example animals produce their young ones by the process of reproduction we humans produce babies by the process of reproduction so we can call it as the production of new generation of individuals of same species fine this is the define of reproduction now we'll be asking a question related with this only reproduction is production of new individuals then why it is important that means we can say the significance of reproduction fine the significance of reproduction why is it important you have ab- already studied ke reproduction is production of new individuals so the very first thing about its importance or significance is to maintain continuity of life fine to maintain continuity of life in this world if we will not produce the new individuals or the young ones the life will come to an end because reproduction is the process by which new individuals are brought to the world and to maintain the continuity that life goes on the cycle goes on we need the process of reproduction the second is for for maintenance of population size for maintenance of population size for example to understand this let's take an example we know we all are mortal that means after a certain age or after a certain period of time death will occur so if the previous place of an individual is not being replaced by the new generation or the new one the population size will decrease and that will again come to the end so these both are important points the third is for evolution you will be having a better idea in the chapter heredity and evolution but now for evolution also reproduction is important related with this one we are using again a term that means variation you know variation in simple language we can say difference variation means difference but difference in what difference in structure difference in physiology or different in any any of the trait found in the individuals these difference arises by the process of reproduction and these differences help in the process of evolution fine so now the basic terms used in this topic we already have a idea about that that means reproduction evolution and variation fine now come to the very next thing types of reproduction it means if 
reproduction occur then what are the ways in how many ways does it occur what are the types of reproduction generally we say that there are two types of reproduction one is asexual and the other is sexual now what you mean by asexual reproduction and the other is sexual reproduction the definition for asexual reproduction is when only one parent is involved in this process fine the process is known as asexual reproduction that can be either male or female or any of the organism only one parent is involved sexual means both the parents are required for this process to occur or both the parents are involved in this process so asexual reproduction and sexual reproduction are the two types of reproduction the process of reproduction these are the basic terms or you can say most required knowledge we should all have before starting with our topic sexual reproduction in animals or more precisely we can say humans fine so now we are going to start our topic sexual reproduction in animals or in humans fine now in humans before going to start this topic i just want to tell you one thing or few things like humans are uni sexual now what does this term mean unisexual what does it mean yes unisexual means that an organism can represent either male or female that means only one sex or you can say one organism can be either male or female he cannot be both theek hai fine to unisexual is either male or female a organism can be either male or female now the second thing for the process of reproduction to occur humans require few things related now after this term unisexual we will be explaining the sexual reproduction so both the organisms require the structure associated with the process of reproduction to occur or we can say there are specific structures present in either of the organism male or female both the organisms require specific structure associated with this process the structure present in male can be said as male reproductive system and the structure associated with female is female reproductive system fine so these are the structures required for the process of reproduction to occur fine now male reproductive system and female reproductive system these helps in the process of reproduction but one thing before going to start with this i just want to tell you one thing is a word that is puberty you already have studied it this in class 8 what you mean by puberty this word is very important because this age is required before the process of reproduction to occur that means both the organisms must attain the age to start with this process so let's define this word puberty what does is what does it mean puberty is the age of human males and females at which the reproductive organs of humans becomes functional or start producing gametes and at this age the boys 
and girls males and females becomes sexually mature fine so after puberty now let's start with male reproductive system what does it consists of or its sub parts fine the very first thing present in male reproductive system is testes fine the second thing is scrotum fine the third thing is vas deferens next thing is urethra and lastly is penis these are the parts which are present in male reproductive system likewise we'll be telling about female reproductive system what does it consists of now we'll be telling the parts of female reproductive system the very first thing is ovaries the next thing is fallopian tubes or you can say oviducts the third thing is uterus and lastly is vagina these are the parts of female reproductive system that means it consists of ovaries fallopian tubes uterus and vagina now we will be studying both the reproductive system in detail along with the diagram